The past few decades, thousands of people across the South Pacific have been consuming food and water contaminated by hazardous waste. Old drums of banned chemicals like DDT have been seeping into the environment and from there into the food chain. But a massive clean-up operation by the Australian Agency for International Development plans to change all that. South Pacific correspondent Steve Marshall reports. No, that's... They're all so corroded, there's no liquids left in any. In this former malaria control station in the Solomon Islands, DDT, one of 12 particularly hazardous chemicals, seeps out of corroding drums into the environment. Yeah, there's at least 27. If children, were, or for instance, were playing in it, they could ingest it or uh, it off their hands or it could go through their skin. The other really bad consequence of it is that it's very close to the sea. So any time it rains, DDT is being washed into the local sea, marine environment. It's been happening around the South Pacific for years. Some of the barrels date back to the mid-1960s. Exposure to these persistent organic pollutants can cause cancer and interfere with human hormones. Basically because they're insoluble in water, yet soluble in fatty tissue. So that means once these chemicals are released into the environment and, for example, into the oceans, they biomagnify in the food chain and people with high fish diets actually have PCBs and DDT in their breast milk. The Solomon Islands, still rebuilding after ethnic tensions paralysed the country several years ago, was the worst affected. To remove something that could be of danger to their lives is a very big thing. It, oh, it is almost equivalent to removing guns, I should say. The threat just didn't come from the ocean. Fresh water supply had also been affected. While locals can once again enjoy the fresh water that sustains their livelihoods, in another world away back in Australia, a robust high-tech scientific process is well underway to destroy the chemicals. Tons of harmful chemicals have been shipped here to a purpose-built facility in Queensland to be incinerated. The operation, from detection to disposal, is now regarded as a global leader. The Americans and the European Union have been looking to the work that AusAid has been doing within the region uh, and trying to uh, take those lessons learned to apply uh, in the Caribbean um, and also throughout Africa where there are similar problems with, uh, with persistent organic pollutants. Even though they don't know it yet, the cleanup has improved their quality of life for years to come. Steve Marshall, Late Line.